Okay, we're going to have a look at setting up a baseline grid in InDesign. Traditionally, in desktop publishing programs, um, a baseline grid is a sort of a foundation um, of horizontal lines that your design is set to. And this gives um, some continuity for your design, especially over double page spreads if you have two pages um, that making sure the text aligns across both of those pages otherwise it will look a little bit strange and imbalanced so what we've done and we've got a new document here and we're going to look at setting up a baseline grid now we can switch on a grid and that goes in the view menu and then if you come down to grids and guides and what you can do is show baseline grid now this will show a baseline grid um, as a default baseline grid and you'll see here this page has margins so it's starting up here um, little gap and it's starting at the margin now to give an idea of how this works if we go up to the um, InDesign menu if you're using a PC you would go to the edit menu and bring up preferences but we're going to go to the InDesign menu. And once we're there, we need to go down to Grids. Although you can access all the options within. It's got where it's starting from, which is 12.7 um, millimeters, and it's starting at the top of the page or top margin. Um, it depends on which setting you want it to do. Um, we'll just have it you know, st starting at the top margin. Now, also you can change it to another color if you wanted to which you will uh, change the color scheme of it if you wished now the increment is every 12 points and th what we need to do is we want to set 12 point text and we looked previously is that the line spacing for um, 12 point text is 14.4 so if we type in 14.4 and that's using a, a ratio of the line spacing is 120 um, of percent of the uh, font size. Now the threshold here is basically that is where it, it disappears. So if you zoom in and zoom out, um, the lines will disappear and we'll have a look at that in a minute. So what we've done is we set the increments at 14.4 and we're good to go. So we click that and it's changed. Now what we've done is we've said from the top margin. So you see here it's starting from the top margin. Now you might want to come back and say, okay, if we go back here to the um, preferences, grids and guides, and this time I will stay from the top of the page, click okay, and you'll see what's happened. So that's aligned it up, which is exactly the same as the margin. Now these gaps are 14.4. And I'm going to put a text box down here. I go up to the tools, I click on the type tool, and I'm going to drag out a text box across here. Now, once I've done that, I can either cut and paste text or I can type it in. But the easiest one to have some body text on there, which designers use to just give a, a, an idea or a concept of how a page is panning out, we go to the type menu and we go down with fill with placeholder text. Now that will bring in our placeholder text. Now all we need to do is I'll just highlight that um, and make sure I have it on 12. So it is on 12 point, so that's good. And the line spacing is what we've done the um, baseline grid at. Now you'll notice if we zoom in here, it is not set to the baseline grid. You will see the text is there, but it's floating above. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that the um, bottom of this line here is lined up with the baseline grid. Okay, there's two ways of doing this. First of all, I'll just do it on the fly with what we've got here. If I come up to the top here, um, I click from the text box and I click on the paragraph settings. 
If you come over here, you will see a line to a baseline grid. I click on that. And now if you see, it's actually placed all the bottom of text on that baseline and has locked it to it, which is pretty good. Now, if I go to undo, now another way of doing it is by setting up a style sheet for it. So if we go to the window menu, I go down to styles and I will go to paragraph styles. I will create a new style and open that up. I'll call that base line. And once I've got that, I need to go down to indents and spacing. What I'm looking for is down here, which is the um, all lines. And I need to click on preview. Now when I click preview, you will see it's aligned to uh, our baseline. Now this is what you would use if you have paragraph um, styles or character styles. You would get it to align to a baseline grid once it's been formatted.